Hello, and welcome to the Gigcaster podcast from Boss with Jack Duxbury on Hello. Anderton's TV. Oh, yeah. He knows nothing about this product. You know nothing about this product. We're going to sit here and we're going to find out. <laughs> Matt, thanks so much for being here, mate. No problem, sir. I've deliberately stayed ignorant to this, <laughs> as I do with most things. Please tell us and the people out there sure. about this product, because it's already blown my mind. Well, this is the Gigcaster 8. It is a multi-track portable production studio, if you will, that allows you to stream multi-track audio or two-track audio, like we're doing here, stereo out, um, straight into the world wide web if you if you will you can also on this one record multi-track onto sd card as well but effectively allows to do anything that you want and basically record the highest possible audio quality this is rare for us to have boss. we've never had boss in here we just get rolling no, i know right so what's the boss bit so there's a lot of interesting boss elements to this um, I guess we'll just talk about, if I just talk about how we've got it set up so mm-hmm. far. So we've got two Shure SM7Bs running straight in onto two channels here, which we can control with faders. Um, we've also got touchscreen control that we'll go into in a minute as well. Stereo out, and then we've got headphone monitors here as well. So the boss part, if you will, is the fact that we have guitar effects and vocal effects built into this from our GT guitar processor and VE vocal processor. So as you're talking, you know, we could be doing a podcast like we're doing now, and I could add delay and reverb. You could be a live streaming musician and you could add, you know, you could be singing and there's a bunch of vocal effects, harmonizers and stuff in here as well that you can use. Um, Or, you know, you could just simply be playing guitar and you can stream audio straight over USB into your computer and do a YouTube live or, however you want to do it. So anything that you kind of want to do in a creator sphere, Mm. this allows you to do it quickly and easily. If you've ever tried to do a podcast before, there's so many different elements that you need to try and get right. And so many different separate bits of kit. And this brings everything together in one. Yeah. Well, let's list them out. You, you're getting rid of a mixer. You're getting rid of cloud lifters. Because yep. we're not, uh, there's enough gain in here. These are really gain hungry mics. Yeah, so you've got more than enough preamp power in here as well as phantom power. So if you're using any mics that require phantom power, so if you're, you know, playing guitar and singing, for example, you've got phantom power in there as well. I'm seeing USB C on the back. I'm seeing a little micro SD. Yep. So you can stream. So you can record two track mix, um, or you can. Out of the USB-C, you can send multi-track audio out as well. So you can do up to uh, 20 channels out, 14 channels in um, on this as well. And you can also do that straight onto SD card. So if you're not near a computer, if you want to do a session or you you want to record your band rehearsal or whatever, you could effectively plug four inputs into this and then record it multi-track onto SD card as well. Because we're flying by the seat of our pants, as usual, on here. <laughs> so you, and we're having to get this. You're just hearing the mix out of this. This is as kind of low level as it could be. But as basic as it could be. If you were at home with a bit more time, mm-hmm. you could. so you'd get the individual tracks out and you could do some post. Yeah, if you wanted to. Yeah, absolutely. So you could do that in real time. Um, or you could, yeah, you could record onto SD card and then you can load it into a DAW later as a multi-track audio file. Mm-hmm. And you could edit it in post as well. But we're going... As basic as you can go, two mics straight in, stereo straight out, and then into headphones as well. Great. So that's that's the kind of, I guess, the boss part of it in terms of effects from GT. Well, we haven't heard the boss part yet. You've got a little orange Schecter sneaking down there. I have. So we can, you've got a dedicated guitar input on the front here. This is. And we can have a little guitar channel. And we can still have a chat, and you're jamming away. We can away. still have a chat, and obviously you can control it in real time if you want. Let's have a flick through, and I'm going to bring up the fact now that not only am I podca- podcasting with Matt mm-hmm. here, I'm podcasting with Matt from the Guitar Nerds podcast, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, and if you, um, we'll get into that in a bit, but it, this must be a trip, right? You've done loads of, yeah. So I, I've you've done been, like 10 years of podcast. Yeah. I've been a podcaster for like 10, 10 years and, right. and a guitar based podcaster. And the hardest thing is actually being able to demo gear on a podcast. Because again, you need multiple equipment. You might have to mic up an amplifier, all that sorts of stuff it makes it way more difficult to try and just have a much quicker, more fun experience trying to do a podcast. So with this, the great thing is, is because we've actually got a nice full color touchscreen display, um, you can actually edit everything on the fly from a guitar perspective via the touchscreen. So, you know, if I've got... It's easy enough to just turn the delay off. You know, if you want to add in, uh, you know, we could easily dial the gain back a bit, maybe add some vibrato. And I'm guessing these are all... Uh, I'm familiar with the Katana, believe it or not. I know I do the synth channel, but I'm a bit of a Katana myself. <laughs> um, are, are we talking like Katana grade effects? These are, uh, these are the same um, algorithms inherited from our GT effects processor, cool. which is the flag li- flagship effects processor, and then vocal effects, um, courtesy of our VE vocal processor. Can you slap some vocal effects on me? Can yeah, we so do where do you want to... <laughs> where should we go? Should we go... I'm saying, um, like, Danish Pete's backing tracks at the beginning got me in a sol- It got me in a sultry mood. Um, oh, baby. Where should we go? Oh, so you've got full... P- these are presets or individual effects. These are individual effects. Right. So we could add some delay on here as well if you want. Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we're actually on talk mode here. There is a sing mode. And then it opens up a bunch more effects, including things like harmonizers and stuff as well. So if you're singing and you want to have harmony, that's all in here as well, which is really, really nice. We're so, not going to show the people this. Do you want to do some singing? <laughs> hey, what do we know any songs together? Oh, I don't know. Are you, you're uh, testing, we, we, In the world of guitar noise. YouTube, <laughs> it shows you how bereft of songs we are. <laughs> I know. I, know. Same, I mean, synth world as well. I'm just there going, beep, beep, beep. Well, we'll um, we'll let's turn on some of the effects, and you can uh, you can do a bit of talking. Well, I'm walking down the road trying to loosen my load. I got seven women on my mind. So, I've just moved back to Dorset, so I'm thinking the Eagles. Yeah, so we've got a, you've got a harmony on there at the moment. Um, we've got. Um, oh, you can set the scale. Yeah, you can do all that. We've got radio effects. You know, loads of different stuff on here. Mm. Lo-fi filter. Ring modulators, if you really wanted to, on your voice, like loads of different that stuff. Show. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there you go. Got a nice little radio effect that you can add on. Oh, that's great. But obviously, you know, as say for example, me taking the role of a producer, I could edit and add all that in real time. So you can just do that touch screen. You really don't have to be on camera. Oz could be manning this over there. Yeah, exactly. Or um, optional, you can plug a foot controller into this, and you can do it on sort of hands-free as well if you want so Are these microphones this is a um, small set of microphones for talkback so you can do talkback and stuff like that as well so if oz was in another room and producing you could do a bit of talkback and it'll come through the headphones and stuff like that as well which is really cool that's really good what mate just have a little bit of an interlude brought to you by the guitar nerds podcast available every wednesday with joe and matt on your favorite <laughs> Uh, streaming services. Now, this is going to be an interlude over one of Danish Pete's backing tracks with some shredding from Matt. Come on. Don't hold back, Matt. Oh. Pete wouldn't want you to hold back. add some uh, what if we add some delay we'll go spacey mm. 
myself a nice round of applause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. So, <laughs> did you load those in? Did so you- they all of the samples in here. Is, uh, goodbye, Pete. Um, Thanks, Pete. All the um, all the samples in here are actually preloaded. So the great thing is here is you've got a eight physical pads, and if we swipe on the touch screen, um, you can actually see you've got all your samples on here, and then you can actually have up to eight banks of samples. So you can reload, you can add things in. So Having the names there is really cool. Yeah. Um, so we've got one here, Synth 5. Let's just give it a go, shall we? Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Halloween edition. Halloween edition. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, <laughs> there we go. Um, and the great thing is you can actually add your own effects and stuff onto that. So if you want to add delays and reverb, you can alter all of those. You can load in your own samples. Um, and on top of that, you can either use it for samples or you can actually use it for effects. So all of these can be reassigned to control other features inside the unit. So um, the first bank here actually allows us to just patch up and down on effects. So you can go up and down through presets, but it actually allows you to send MIDI as well. So if you're a live streamer and you're doing something with multiple cameras, you're using software like OBS, you can actually use this to change cameras remotely as well. So if you want to do stuff like that as well. You're winning me over, Matt. <laughs> You're winning me over. This just seems very well thought out. Uh, addressing the elephant in the room, or the very tiny elephant, uh, what's this? This is the Gigcaster 5. So this is effectively the same unit in a much smaller package. The only difference with this one is it's two physical ends and no SD card recording on this one. But there's a reason. Uh, because both of these units are USB class compliant audio interfaces. So what that means is you can obviously go USB straight out into your computer, but you can also go USB-C straight out into a smart device. So if you're doing Instagram Live and you want to demo the latest keyboard, you can plug keyboard into that, you can plug a mic into it, you can talk, you can play, and all of that sound quality will go straight out USB into your smart device you know phone or we've got an ipad mini here that we're streaming from um so this is a kind of more portable one you've still got sound pads um that are available once you hook up to an app so you hook this into a computer if you want the pads um they will both have editors on launch so you'll be able to edit everything and customize everything via an editor if you don't want to do it via the screen Um, but this is a kind of more portable package and this is a, a kind of bigger one with multiple ins if you're doing bigger sessions or anything like that um but it's you know there's so many great uses that i found from the last couple of weeks and one of them's teaching right right yeah. so you can go usb out and then you can we were doing this as the interface over zoom mm-hmm. guitar plug straight in teaching you've then got usb audio in so obviously you can fade in the audio coming from the computer mix minus so there's no feedback loop and you can play guitar your student on the other end, Zoom can hear it, and you've got all your guitar effects built in, so there's no need for extra pedals or miking up an amp or line out or you know trying to have plugins on a computer. You can do everything in this and then just go straight out, which is a really nice little feature. I wouldn't have thought, I'm going to be very candid here, I, I didn't think that this space needed this product. <laughs> you know, I'm familiar, um, well, we haven't done videos on it, but I've been looking at these because we've been thinking about doing a podcast mm. for ages. But when you think about that, those extra steps of getting real instruments or it, good amp sounds. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Um, and, you know, if you wanted to, you know, if you were going to do a podcast in here and it was you and Pete, for example, you could oh. have two, two microphones, but you could also then have two mics miking up an amplifier. So if you wanted to do that, so you could mic it up that way. Um, if you didn't want to use the inbuilt effects, you've got four XLRs directly on the back as well, which is really, really nice. And the little things like visibly seeing what the... Uh, I've seen some shortcomings in some of the other products. In that mm. It seems like you've uh, bided your time and come out at the right time. Everyone's it, it, it covers like everything. hands-on control of these four separate headphones. That's great. Exactly. I mean, if you're like taking the role of a producer, I guess, you want to be able to have hands-on control of everything you're doing because you've got to think about sounds, levels, playing samples, individual mixes, mm-hmm. all at the same time while actually trying to think about what you're talking. And because it's all in one package, you've not got separate bits of kit. 
it allows you to just do it all at once, which is really, really handy. And the, the size is great. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Yeah, so these are USB bus powered as well, so you can go USB straight into your computer. You don't need to have the power supply that we've got plugged in for that. Oh. Um, you've also got a dedicated hardwired input, so if you want to plug a phone in for a cable, you can. Or we've got the mini for a bit of the backing tracks. Well, I feel like we've we've gone round the product there. It is a superb product. I think the ultimate goal was any type of creator, whether you're a musician, podcaster, live streamer, Instagram, um, TikTok, mm. it's about getting the highest quality sound from whatever you want to do to wherever you want it to go. So all the features covered that you could potentially imagine and more because of how much you can customize it. You know, So if you wanted to, you can actually plug in. We make a specific foot controller for our amps called the GAFC. Um, you can plug that into here. Then you've got five customizable buttons that you can plug oh, in. Oh, come so on. You can do effects on and off. Like I said, you could do camera change. You could send out MIDI signals. So if you're playing a keyboard and you want to have yeah. MIDI for patch changes or whatever, you can do all of that. So that's really cool. It is really cool. Mm -hmm. my, da my dad's, I bought him a Katana and that. Oh, nice. And, that, uh, and the foot controller. Yeah. So you could take that same foot controller, plug it into same, here. And then know, again, to, for him, even there, if he was thinking of doing one, before i'd have to get him a product and then he'd have to mesh the katana with that mm -hmm. and they get just anything to take away steps that's the this. thing it's it's um one of my colleagues always used to say it's like what's the quickest way to fun what's the shortest mm -hmm. way to fun and i think that's a really key thing with this product and i've been using the five quite a lot for recording phone phone videos you know so if doing stuff on instagram you know if i've got a great guitar sound yeah, I could mic up an amp or I can just plug it into here and dial in the same sound on a touchscreen, USB out, mm -hmm. straight into this. And you and said uh, with the editor, you can can you do the guitar editing on there as well? Uh, yeah, so with the editor, you'll be able to edit all the patches and stuff if you want to save your own patches. Um, but like I said, you can do it on the screen. So it's up to you. You might decide that, I don't know, you're going to go and do a podcast and there's specific presets you want to have ahead of time. Maybe you don't want to edit it on the screen. You can just edit it and save it. Um, you can actually see and flick through the presets really nicely on the screen as well. So if you want to just go up and down through the presets, you can. Same on the guitar side. So you can just see, all oh, right, okay, that's what I've got. And then a one button and you're in the editing screen and it's all just touch screen and away you go. It might, it might be so easy. I might even, the Anderson's gods might let me do a podcast. Yeah. Because well, this is so little faff. You know, we were talking about you going to, um, you know, events in the future as well. Think about if you're, you know, wanting to record a keyboard or another product at somewhere like Nam, super busy, it's super loud. You can write into this headphones out, and you could record straight onto your phone as your well. Your phone, yeah, yeah, phone. yeah. So, or you know, onto SD card and come back and edit it and change it in in post if you want. Um, we were messing around with Lapelia mic, so obviously, if you've got a Lapelia mic, you can just have that. So, even if you're doing lots of product demos this becomes a really handy tool for that because it effectively it's a, a really good mixer and interface. I like the size as well. Mm. Pretty good, mate. Well, would you do us the honour of uh, jamming us out? Oh, and I'll just remind... We should have keyboard. We should have... No, they've heard enough that. of that. <laughs> there were like 600 videos of the same old licks. <laughs> oh, mate, <laughs> but no, they, It's nice to... It's a real treat to have uh, someone from Boston. Thanks for coming in, mate. Really I appreciate gonna, it. Uh, I was going to put a bit of rebirth on for you. That is... Um, a treat of having Boss come in. <laughs> it deserves reverb at the end there. And uh, with reverb, I'm going to remind you to perhaps like and subscribe. We've hit 100,000. Lord knows what the next prize is going to be. Could be a kidney. Thanks for watching.